today is sunday guys and uh i'm so pleased to see you guys today and may well, good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are doing okay to my christians brothers and sisters please try as much as possible to go to church go to church it did very good to go to church and then pray for your loved ones go to church sincerely from your heart not to show fashion not to show that new hairstyle not want to show that new suit, that swaggy jeans. No. Go to church because you want to interact with God. Don't go to church because of your pastor. Go to church because you want to interact with God. And interacting with God, God is not looking at your fashion. He's not looking at what you put on. He's not looking at anything. He's looking at your sincerity. And of course, if you want to be sincerity, you must look at it as well. You cannot be very pant and say you are sincere. Very pant and be walking outside before you reach to church and say you are sincere. Very that tight jeans and they see your bumble before you reach church. You say you are sincere. Stop lying to yourself. Well, thank you guys for watching, for joining me today. Well, it's quite a fortunate. Uh, another tragic issue just happened. A wife single-handedly decided to take justice into her hands because she discovered that her husband had a side chick. So what she did, she went into the kitchen, picked up a pistol, not this pistol, that mortar, you know, what you used to pan, we call it pistol, just in case you don't know it. Picked up a heavy pistol went to the bed while this man was sleepy jejele he used the pistol to destroy this man's head unfortunately the man did make it according to the media they said a woman omar lara has been arrested for the murder of her husband jamil it was gathered that the incident happened on saturday night june 1st 2024 in akoko on those states. The source who spoke to Insta Blood said the suspect used a pistol to eat her husband on the head while he was asleep after she discovered he had a side chick. The husband was rushed to the hospital bed was pronounced dead on arrival. Omar Lara was quickly arrested and is currently thinking about her action and she wonders who will take care of her three children now that she is likely be jailed for murder. The incident is coming after the disease brought, bought a car for her and built her a house in Undo State. Ha! This man bought you a car and built you a house in Undo State. Ha! Because of side cheek, you decide to carry peace to go Caput this man. Not even thinking about your children. Not even thinking about your little children. Who's going to take care of them now? That's the question that you are asking. You couldn't even give the guy a benefit of doubt. Just maybe that side chick was the one trying to get your husband. Your husband has been trying to dodge the side chick. At least a little bit of doubt and wake the man up. What are you doing with your husband for? If you see the comment under the post, eh, ladies and gentlemen, if you see the comment under this post, the women are so, so hand man to comment. The few who commented said, most of them said, if you know you cannot be faithful in a marriage, don't get married. That is what the women are commenting. That is what the women are commenting. Ha! You buy man make you go take care of you and your children just like that. I'm not going to forgive my mother if my mother ever had done such thing to me. I will never forgive her. Never. Let me be completely honest to you guys. Of course, you know me right from time. My viewers know me. They know what I actually stands for. Ah! No, 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 no. This is one of the reasons why men need to be truthful. 
Don't hide it in your heart. If you cannot be faithful to a woman, let her know from the start. Of course, a lot of social media will say, oh, irresponsible man, you don't know what you are doing. You want to marry a woman, you are boasting that you can never be faithful. Irresponsible man. That's what they are going to say. That's what most of us will say. But it's going to save you. Someone like, for instance, we are going to go back to portable. Someone like portable. Someone like Nedwoko. Someone like so many other uh, people out there. These people that we usually see all the time. Now, the woman couldn't even. The woman couldn't even wait. How about wait now? Sorry, guys. The woman couldn't even give the husband a benefit of doubt. Say, oh, this man, he just bought me a car. He just bought me a house. The woman couldn't even consider their three kids, young children. Oh, this man, we have three kids together. Let me give this man the benefit of doubt. Or better still, divorce the man. You know what that woman did, did? He said, see, since you are cheating on me, I'm going to end your life. She did it well. You, you, you thought about it. You went into the kitchen to carry pistol and scatter the man's head. Not one, not twice. You should, should, you should see the gross old picture, guys. It was not a mistake. He grounded the man's head. Huh? That is the reason why it's also good for men to have their own room. Yes, all those kind of little, little things, eh? because of what the media, because of 21st century, that we want to live in now, that is why we are having these kind of issues. Yet, someone will say, oh, even he sleep for a while, so they will sit by him, they walk by him. <laughs> I know somebody will say that. Our fathers used to have their own room. Their wives have their own privacy. Our fathers even respect their wife enough to give them privacy. But we do not. We want to sleep in the same bed, everything, the same, the same, the same. Which is good, though. Which is good. But all those things, we learned them from the English people. English. Everybody wants to be American. That is why I advise people. If you want to be American that bad, why not you re re relocate to America? And stay there. Relocate to an English country and abide by their rules and regulations and stay there. Because there are some certain things that we have bad on that are putting us in trouble now. Whether you like it or not, whether you are working in the 21st century or not, whether you deny it or not, there are some certain things that we have left, our cultural things that we have left that are backfiring us now, and yet we do not realize it. Well, May that guy gentle so rest in peace and then the woman will figure out how to, how to who is going to take care of their children okay and, my, and meanwhile let's go to portable portable was awarded <laughs> this guy is crazy yeah. uh, I never knew they had a single mother association before. No, no, they know. Single Mother Association recently signed Portable as one of the ambassadors. And you know, Portable is uh, is one of those people who, who patronize single mothers a lot. Yes, apart from getting multiple children from by multiple women, Portable also patronize a lot of single mothers. See, they help them. See, they shine their contour and everything. In fact, he recently welcomed another baby again with another woman. Recently. That's why he's not even part of his wife or part of his girlfriend, though. But recently welcomed. 
brother. This man is the real definition of felakuti. Even fella children know they even carry on with their father's legacy. This guy is the real definition of what we call fella kuti. <laughs> Don't be surprised. In the next 10 years now, Potty will get that kind of 20 something children. I hope he's going to hustle well. I hope he's going to have enough money to also train them because this guy is not stopped here any soon. Now, they don't give her a word. Give her staff ID card as part of Single Mother Association. <laughs> because of your constant uh, patronizing them. Because you constantly patronize them. Come on, man. You constantly put young ladies into single motherhood. Let us say, ah, portable. You are, you are deemed righteous for this particular post because you are be the one that have uh, turned our single ladies to single mothers that's why i want to employ you as an ambassador <laughs> because tell me what is the need for a single mother association is it not to further further uh, further like uh, advice further advise women to go into single motherhood and why would they want to sign someone like portable is it not a song to further advise other women to get a pregnant by people like a portable portable is one of the most uh, is one of those people we know patronize single motherhood he have he have he have he, uh, he pregnated a lot of single uh, ladies out there without even marrying them and uh, wow the priority eh? <laughs> this priority how can somebody join this kind of association for me it's waywardness single mother association how what does it stand for i i, I would like to know their motto their motive behind it honestly well thank you guys for watching the boy here i'm saying catch you next